My name is Matt Hutchcraft, and I am serving the diaspora immigrant communities of the Twin Cities, uh, Minneapolis and St. Paul. Diaspora simply means that there's a large population of immigrants from a particular country or geographical region that have relocated into uh, a city or, or a, a state here in the U.S. Our focus in outreach is really focused on reaching the whole person and that applies to the community as well. What we want to do is to address the needs of people physically, emotionally, spiritually, and as a community whole. And so we want them to be healthy and we want them to know the love of God as they seek to uh, bring the best of their communities into the communities that they've uh, moved into. Well, one of the things that we know is that diaspora often come from countries where uh, the predominant religion is of one sort. So from a Muslim background, a Buddhist background, a Hindu background. And in our case in Minnesota, we have a lot of folks from the Horn of Africa. They come from a Muslim background. And what that means is that there's a very low percentage of people that have been exposed to uh, the Bible, the gospel, or maybe even have a relationship with somebody who is a Christ follower. One of the things that is so important is prayer. We know that nothing of significance happens without prayer, and that's especially true when we're engaging uh, immigrant or diaspora communities. In our particular situation, we're especially trying to build relationships with the folks from the Horn of Africa. And so one of the things you can do is join our five by five challenge. That means praying five times a day for five minutes and praying that God would reveal himself and that he would show the truth of himself to those people in that community. That means when you get up in the morning, when you have breakfast, when you have lunch, when you have dinner, and right before you go to bed, just take five minutes and ask God if he would reveal himself through us and through the people that are loving this community um, to do that. The other way that you can be involved is to get our newsletters. Uh, and you can sign up to get those and get the prayer updates that we send out on a regular basis. And finally, there's the financial support. We do rely on financial support from our friends and family and churches to be able to go ahead and continue to meet the needs of this community, whether that's physical, emotional, maybe it's uh, like after the riots that happened and we're able to go in and provide services and goods, or just being around to love on people in a way that shows them who God is and the type of relationship that He wants to have with them. The best way that people can become a part of what the Minneapolis diaspora team serving among the immigrant communities of Minneapolis can do is first off, come down and prayer walk with us. Uh, we go down several times a week. We have different folks that go to different neighborhoods. And the goal is just to walk and pray over every house, every business, every person that we pass. Another way to become involved is to actually sign up and get a regular routine of going down and building relationships having conversations with people and just letting them know that you're there and interested in uh, them as a whole person and introducing them to the things that help bring healing and peace and happiness and joy to communities. The biggest reason is because in Revelation 7, we see that uh, as John is there, he's talking with the elders and he says, and I see before me a great host that nobody can number and they're from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And that means the geographical boundaries, the political boundaries, but it's also the linguistic and community boundaries that bring people together and unite them and identify them as a group. All of those people are going to be at the throne. All of those people are going to be worshiping Jesus in the end times. And our passion is to help people meet that God who wants to have that kind of personal relationship with them. And so it's vitally important, especially among immigrants who come from countries where they have little access and little uh, opportunity to engage with a Christian and to just know who this God is, why he loves us, and why we need a relationship with him. No, absolutely not. The beauty of the gospel, the beauty of um, being a Christian is the fact that you can share what you know. And that's enough. One of the things that we've discovered is there's a lot of opportunities to share basic things and they can have profound impact. 
John 3.16, for example, if all you know is that God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life, that's enough. That's enough for you to start building a relationship and having a spiritual conversation that might change the life of somebody who hears.